Majorca Cycling Center Academy, Wojciech Beran's School of Cycling. Training Blog Lactate Test and Heart Rate In today's Majorca Cycling Center Academy, we're going to talk about the foundations good training is built on and the energy source the body requires in order to perform well. Would you like to learn more about your body? Would you like to train effectively and know what heart rate data are actually good for? Learn about your limits, which have a huge effect on training and the right choice of your exercise load. When you know all your relevant heart rate zones, then you know how to train your body well and effectively. Then you know what to do in order to improve your physical condition or reduce your weight and prevent yourself from getting overstrained. When you want to learn how your body works, you should take a lactate test. Based on this test, you will find out if you can train your body with no worries and limits, and what is the relevant intensity you should train at to make the best progress. Before taking the lactate test itself, you normally undergo a dialogue with the aim to collect some data about your eating habits, medication you take, or any other restrictions you might have. It's very important to report all the relevant details without holding anything back. Testing the lung volume and strength and measuring the blood pressure are essential parts of the test as well. The gain values will directly point out your strengths or restrictions. A normal blood pressure is 120 over 80. Any alternations should be consulted with a doctor, more importantly when the blood pressure is higher. Another test will evaluate the whole body structure and the current ratio of your active and passive body mass. One of the most observed indicators is your total body weight, which gets divided into muscles, body fat, water, and minerals. All such components should form an ideal ratio. We should especially pay attention to the percentage of body fat, which should not exceed 20%. If the ratio is higher, it indicates starting obesity. The lactate test is taken on your bike or a stationary bike in a laboratory, and it tells all about how your cardiovascular system works. Based on the values of blood acidity gained from a series of blood samples during your physical performance, we can form so-called lactate curve. The blood acidity level changes along with the rise of your heart rate. The more intensive activity, the higher level of acidity and higher heart rate. Based on the blood acidity values, we are able to tell how well the athlete is trained. The better train the athlete, the slower the rise of blood acidity is, which explains why the trained athletes can deliver a better performance for a longer period of time. When the heart rate is more stable, the pulse speeds up slowly and gradually. The lactate curve of a well-trained athlete forms a shape of a bow, and the lactate curve of an untrained individual will resemble a straight line. A less trained rider doesn't cope well with higher intensity, and the heart rate instantly increases and has no tendency to decline again. Based on the lactate and heart rate reactions, we learn about the cyclist's current physical condition. The untrained area is mapped with a sudden increase of heart rate and rising level of lactate. The aim is to work on a gradual lactate curve progress while adding the load up to the personal maximum. Getting the lactate values, heart rate frequency, and performance data in a timeline is one of the most accurate ways to determine the level of fitness and to learn about how the body should be trained. The test also reveals which resources the body uses at what heart rate and what performance level. Your body is able to gain energy from lipids, carbohydrates, or proteins. The lactate test shows how and when the athlete uses such substrates and whether he is fit or unfit. All this knowledge is needed in order to state the heart rate training zones. For every endurance athlete, and therefore a cyclist as well, the aim is to reduce the output of energy and make the body work mainly within the aerobic heart zone. In order to develop such ability, we need to know the accurate data from the lactate test. The aerobic threshold is to be found at 65 to 80% of maximum heart rate. Below this level, there is the aerobic heart rate zone where the body burns fat and builds up its endurance. Within this zone, the body is able to gain energy up to 80% from lipids. In this mode, the body functions economically and is able to perform well for several hours. This is called a compensatory and slightly recovery zone where we work on the basic endurance, which forms the foundation of every athlete's performance. When we focus on training in this zone, we usually ride in a flat or slightly undulating profile. On the other hand, the anaerobic threshold is to be found at the level of 85 to 90% of maximum heart rate, which is an area where we develop our physical fitness. When we train in this zone, especially slightly below the anaerobic threshold, then, concerning our physical fitness, we make the best progress. Our body uses carbohydrates as fuel within the anaerobic zone. However, our body doesn't have a sufficient storage of carbohydrates. 
Therefore, they get used up quickly, which can lead to high blood acidity and fatigue. With such an intensive load, the body can perform only for a short time, from several seconds to a few minutes only. Here, we develop our anaerobic performance, which matches the effort of other athletes. On our daily normal rides, climbing is a typical example of getting into the anaerobic zone. When we ride with slight intensity, we stay between these two thresholds. So-called inter-threshold area is to be found between 70 and 90% of maximum heart rate. The body gains energy from both carbohydrates and lipids. Such a process is very demanding for the body. In this zone, you spend tens of minutes at maximum, and it is usually combined with the basic long-term endurance. As your physical fitness improves, the difference between the aerobic and anaerobic threshold gets smaller. The optimal difference is 15 to 20 heartbeats. If the difference is higher, it indicates that the body is not trained well, and the athlete is usually not well trained in the aerobic zone. Through the inner threshold area, we develop especially medium-term endurance. We reach this intensity during gentle climbs or during an intensive ride in undulating profile. We spend the least time above the anaerobic threshold. A well-trained athlete aims at the zone only in the most intensive part to his performance. For example, when sprinting. Here, you run out of energy very quickly, and the body has to work with an oxygen deficit. Even a well-trained athlete is able to last in this intensity only a few minutes. In training, we spend in the zone only a few seconds when sprinting full gas. The process of using energy for performance is very complex and is limited by the amount of energy stored for such performance. Every cyclist aims for getting the functional threshold values closer to the maximum heart rate so that the body could perform at its maximum with minimal energy expenditure. For this reason, we should work on getting both our thresholds to the maximum heart rate value possible. When slowing down again, the body is then able to react quickly by lowering the heart rate values, and due to that, the maximum of energy is saved. The values and zones detected during the lactate test will change after getting the right training stimulation. Then we will see that the physical condition grows, the values rise, and the body works more economically. For this reason, the lactate test should be updated a few times a year. Only then will you be able to make the best possible progress through your guided training. In our next episode of Mallorca Cycling Center Academy, we will talk about the basic principles used in cycling training and the right setup for your bike. You have been guided through this episode by our professional trainer, Wojciech Beran, MA. Would you like to make the most of your cycling? Do not hesitate and join our team in Mallorca. Mallorca Cycling Center, the International Bicycle Rental of BMC and Colnego Bikes. International training cycling camps for all age and performance groups. Experienced and certified trainers, guides, mechanics, physiotherapists, and masseurs. Do you want to train in Mallorca? Then come with MallorcaCyclingCenter.com. Join us and make the most of your cycling in Mallorca. Bookings on MallorcaCyclingCenter.com.